Hello and welcome to your glute strengthening workout. For today's workout, you will need a low step or a stair. You can also use an ottoman, but I definitely recommend starting at a lower level and then we can work our way up. You'll also need either a small rounded band or your longer band like this that we can um, circle up into a shorter circle. And then we'll also need either a 10 or 15 pound weight if you have weights. If you don't, you can find just a weight around the house. A full laundry detergent um, container works perfectly or a little laundry basket full of some books. You can make your own weights. No need to buy any. All right, so we're gonna start with a little warm up. So we're just gonna step from side to side, taking the arms out, kicking the heel back towards your hips behind you. So just finding some openness in the front of the chest and the front of the thighs. And those hamstrings warmed up, create a little range of motion. Not gonna be here too long, but just getting some mobility a little bit before we start working. So we're gonna work some really good strength today. All right, so pause here in the middle. We're gonna bring one knee up at a time. So go as high as you, as feels comfortable. Just again, going for a range of motion. So bring those knees up as high into your chest as you can comfortably without pain. Good, keep that lower core engaged too, <laughs> right? All right, awesome, good, you can rest. And we're gonna come to a high lunge. So your right leg is gonna come forward, left leg back, come into a shallow stance so that you can hold the core under, find your APT breath, press your knee out. Just gonna come up and down a couple times to try to find that right glute. Make sure your hips are nice and even, going in and out and driving through your front heel. So you feel that right glute turning on, All right? Good, take a couple breaths here just to really engage into it. All right, and then from here, we're gonna come down to your lunge, stay here, press that knee out to the pinky side of the foot and down. So you're getting that glute engagement. From here, engage your core and inhale, exhale, bring your left foot forward to meet your right, come up to stand, go back to where you started, inhale back. Find your balance, find that glute. Exhale, come up to stand. If you need to hold on to something, feel free. If that helps you get into that glute a little bit more with more stability, by all means, go for the hold, right? Because I'd rather that you really feel that glute engagement on the way up and the way down rather than trying to negotiate your balance, right? Holding on to something is totally great. Good, now you can stay here, make sure you're feeling it in that glute, or to advance it, we're gonna bring that knee into the chest, right? Drive through the standing leg, inhale back, and exhale, drive up, good. Engage that core, even on the inhale, exhale, come up. You should start to feel your right glute burning, <laughs> right? And exhale, come up, good. Feel free to hold on if you need to. Go slowly, right? So like we said before, the benefit of going really slowly is that you're getting the muscles to turn on and slow down that movement. You're working really intentionally. Not everything has to be fast. Sometimes when we go too fast, we miss the true benefit. Good, and your glutes on fire. <laughs> Last one here, awesome. Push down through that foot, relax. Awesome, and then we'll switch sides. So if you have your hand on the wall, use your other hand, turn over to the other side. Take your left leg forward, right leg back. Short stance right here, tuck that tailbone under, stay connected in your core. Go up and down here a few times just to get that glute to turn on. You can even put your hand on that left hip. Make sure you can feel that engagement as you're coming up. Good. Nice, just a couple more here. You're holding on, find that balance. Good, and then come on down to your lunge here. Engage that deep core. All right, good. And then as you exhale, inhale, exhale, come to stand at the top of your mat, push through your left glute. Inhale, go all the way back and exhale up to stand. I want you to stay connected into that front glute. Exhale up. Good. So from this side, it looks like this, right? This glute is pushing you up to stand, right? Push through that heel. If you start feeling this in your knees, press that front knee out towards the pinky toe side of the foot a bit more. Good, stay connected in that glute. All right, if you want the advancement, hovering the knee into the chest, lift up. You're gonna drive through that glute, push that foot into the floor. Inhale back, stay connected on the way up and on the way back. 
Now check in with your core. What's happening? Can you keep that APT engagement on the exhale and on the inhale? It's gonna make that glute work a lot more intense. And exhale left. I'm sure you can hear how heavy I'm breathing. <laughs> it might be slow, but it is not easy. Good, even at the top, think of pushing your heel down into the floor from your glute. Again, feel free to hold on if you need to. I would rather you nail this balance at the top with your hand on something than trying to wobble your way through it. Good. Last three here, all the way up. One, breathe, keep that core engaged. Two, yep, and one more, all the way up. Yes. Good, relax, shake it out, feel those glutes. <laughs> All right, grab your small band or if you have the long band, you can double it up. You're gonna put the band around your knees, above your knees. Feet go to hip distance apart. We're gonna drop into a squat. So feet are a little wider than hips. Come on the way down to a squat. We're gonna stay here for just a moment. Find your glutes, press your knees out into the band. Then come halfway up, drop right back down. Halfway up, drop back down. Good. Now, can you keep your deep core engaged as you're moving here? Right. So you're going in and out of a deep squat, mid squat, deep squat, mid squat. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. Good. Two more here. Inhale, exhale. One more, exhale, glutes on fire yet? Yeah, let's go through the whole range of motion. Exhale all the way up. Yeah, squeeze, lift the deep core. Make sure you're not shoving your pelvis forward, right? Inhale down, exhale just up to neutral. Deep core lifts, APT. Inhale, exhale lift, good. Inhale, press those knees out, exhale. Good, three more here, inhale. Exhale up, one, two, last one here, and three. Yes, awesome, nice work. All right, take the band to your ankles. We're gonna take the feet wide. So these are called penguin walks. Now the key here is that the feet stay in the same distance away from each other as you're lifting, right? So find enough resistance that you feel like you could press your, uh, your ankles into the band, but it's not pulling you in like this, right? You're gonna press out into the ankles, engage your deep core, and then we're going to walk like penguins. Take your hands on your hips. You're gonna shift your weight onto one leg at a time, right? So the core is engaged. You're keeping your hips nice and steady and you're keeping your legs equidistant as you're lifting. So what we're not doing is pushing out every time we lift, right? This is not what we're doing. <laughs> Keep the feet equidistant apart so that if you made footprints on the floor, every time your foot came back down to the floor, you would replace it back in the exact same spot. Good. Now make sure your toes are pointing in slightly or parallel. If your toes start opening out like this, you're working too much glute max in the back, right? You want to work these pocket muscles here on the side of your hips. Oh yeah. And you will feel it right on both sides. Good. Nice. Keep going here, moving from one side to the other. If you start to feel like your toes are turning out, you can take a pause, reset, shake it out, and then go back to it. Get a few more in. Good. Awesome. Let's do four more. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Good. Release your legs. Oh, feel all that spaciousness in your hips. All right, now we're going to take some hamstring deadlifts. Grab your weight or your laundry detergent or your, your um, basket that you have. Stack of books also works. I'm going to use a weight like this. I'm going to hold the ends of the weight or do some hamstring deadlifts. So feet are hip distance apart. Come to stand, core is engaged, right? Back stays super, super flat. We're going to inhale, hip hinge all the way forward. Tailbone goes back, knees are bent. Squeeze your glutes at the bottom, lift all the way up to stand. Be aware of not shifting forward when you come up, right? Inhale down and exhale, come all the way up. 
Good. If you tend towards external rotation, look down at your toes and make sure they're pointing straight forward, right? As you're coming down, think of internally rotating your hips, sending your tailbone back into the space. Exhale and lift. Good. Upper back is staying nice and straight. Shoulders are on your back. We don't want to round through the upper shoulders. Exhale, lift. Good. You should feel a nice burn in the back of your, your thighs, in your uh, hamstrings, and a little burn in your glutes too. Inhale down and exhale left. Good. And now there's benefit on the way up and on the way down here. Slow down the movement with your glutes. Use your glute muscles to help you slow down that movement. Exhale, squeeze those glutes, come up. And then remember the pelvic floor, right? So find your APT breath here. Core stays engaged on the inhale and the exhale. Inhale down, core engages. Hip points come closer together. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Good, we'll do four more here. And slow is good, right? The slower you go on the way down, the more you're asking your muscles to slow down the movement and work on the way down. Exhale, lift. Nice, last two. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Good, one more, inhale. And exhale, lift. Great, good. All right, drop that weight down to the floor. Don't drop it, don't drop it on your foot. <laughs> Grab your little step or stool. Feel free to start low with the step. You don't have to go crazy high, but we're gonna take the foot up to the step right here. Stairs work great for this, right? So we're going to square off the hips. You're gonna drive through your front foot and press all the way up to stand. You can bring the toe to touch. Sorry, you can't see my, my head. And then go all the way back down, right? So right here, just start with the toe touching, stay on the same side, drive through your glute. That's what I want you to think about is driving through that glute that is helping you lift, right? Now, something to think about is when you're coming down here, notice if this hip tends to hike out to the side and you go around this way, right? If you're kind of feeling like your hips moving out to the side, you're missing that glute. Try to keep that hip down, drive through that heel, push through the back of the glute back here, right? So stay positioned right over that glute. You'll feel it in the belly of the muscle. And again, if you need to hold on to something, you absolutely can. The next stage to this is to lift the knee into the chest, right? Come all the way up, work on your balance, lift up, nail it at the top. Inhale all the way back down, go nice and slowly as you come down. Exhale, whoop, exhale, nail it up at the top in that glute, right? So you can imagine you had a nail underneath your heel, you're pressing into that nail as you're coming up. What's happening in your core? APT breath here. Lift up. Good. Inhale back down. And exhale, lift up. Good. Awesome. Coming down. So if you want more on that side, stop the video. You can keep going, right? Otherwise, we're going to go to the other side. Take your left foot up to the stair. Shallow lunge. Find that glute. Tuck the tailbone under. Find that core connection. Good, inhale, exhale, drive through that heel, come up, toe taps. Same leg goes back down, right? Exhale, drive up, inhale, back down. Good, so same thing here applies. Notice if that hip hikes up, if you tend to go around it and then back down. So drop that hip down, use the back of your hip. You can even put your hand back here to encourage this back glute muscle to fire. Good. Now from here, if you want a little more challenge, you can bring the knee into the chest. You're firing your leg into the floor from your glute and back down. Oop. Okay, if you lose your balance, <laughs> exhale, lift. The key is to not look everywhere. If you're looking elsewhere, if you find a spot to focus on, your balance will be much better, right? If your eyes wander, you're gonna have a hard time balancing. Good, exhale, lift. Drive through that glute, right? And go slowly. Last three here. Good, inhale down and up. Good, nice, last one. Nice and slow. Yes, all the way up. Nice, good posture and come on down. 
Excellent. All right. Now, what I want you to carry away from this is when you are walking upstairs in your house, I want you to think of this every time you're walking upstairs, I want you to think of leading with your glutes, right? So you can turn every time you walk up and down the stairs into a glute workout, which is awesome. We'll talk about that more in the live sessions, but we're going to end with some side kickbacks. If you have the loose band, you can put it around your ankles and we're going to come to a little bit of a hip hinge here. So find your APT engagement, right? This APT engagement is going to be key for this one, right? So deep core is lifting. You're going to press one foot back at a time right behind you. So you're alternating sides, kicking from the back of your glutes. So I'll show you a couple different versions or different views of this, right? So this one, we are kicking into the band, the penguin walks. We were not now, I want you to stay really focused on keeping that deep core engaged. So it's your glutes that are doing all the work. What I don't want to see is this, right? Opening through the chest and trying to make the movement happen from a flexible place in your core, right? It's really directed at this glutes, right? So from this angle, you're pressing out and back. You're going to feel this really deep out here in these glute muscles. Yes. Good, make it burn. Good, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, stay connected in those core muscles. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good, nice, shake it out. Great work. All right, draw your knees into your chest one at a time. Yeah, get those outer hips. Good, just let it go. Awesome. Good. All right. Take your feet close together. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Nice. Bring your elbows to your knees. I'm going to take your right hand onto your hip. Straighten your right leg. Look over your right shoulder. Good. Drop all the way back down. Other side. Right, left hand on your left hip. Straighten your left leg. Look over your left hip. Drop back down. One more time each side. Over to the right. Back to the center and over to the left. Good. Back to center. Awesome. Good. You made it. Great work.